Hey guys, thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video. Chase and I talked about it and decided that the thing that is better than coming in for an hour long meeting is watching a quick video so we can get everybody on the same page about what we're gonna be doing for the next six-ish weeks, fall breaks in there, about six weeks um, as a church, but then also in student ministry. Uh, we're super excited, I'm super excited. I'm are excited we, as well. We are super excited. Um, because as a church, we are going to be doing a new series called Sent by the Spirit. And as a part of that, um, on Sunday nights, there are going to be what we're calling missional groups. And when we first started talking about that, I'm going to be really honest with you, I was not excited about it at all. Uh, what came to my desk was, hey, can you let people know that we're going to redo small groups? And I was like, I mean, I, yeah. I can do that and then the same people will go to small groups and it'll be great and they'll love it and then we started talking about it and what I found out was that part of this series what we're trying to do is we're trying to help people answer the question why even church really is why church and why is it important for a group of believers to get together and what do we do in the world and what is the purpose of this whole thing that we're doing and so um, the idea came about that we were going to have these groups and we we're going to say great so we're going to invite people to do the stuff so for um on sunday nights the missional groups are going to get together and you probably have heard this already each one of those groups is going to get five thousand dollars to work together, notice what God's doing around them, and then partner with God and go out and do something about it. And so we were sitting in the meeting and we were like, hold on, life groups, that sounds a lot like what we, we have going on on Sunday mornings. And so we were like, can student ministry get in on that? And the answer was yes. So for the next six weeks, we're gonna be going through this series. Um, and we're gonna follow along with what the church is doing and each life group is going to get two thousand dollars to have to do something that they observe god is already working on in the world a problem that they see somewhere that they can help and we want to help you guys to walk your students through that process so practically what that's going to look like is on sunday mornings we're going to do the theology bit we're gonna talk about it. We're still gonna provide you guys with small group leader questions. We're gonna um, continue to support you in that way. You're still gonna get the text from me kind of late in the week, prepping you for what it is that we're doing. But we're gonna look at some different parts of what's going on. Then on Wednesday nights, we're gonna have some experiences where students and families can go out and hear from people that are in our area ministries that are kind of close to our building and the purpose of those this time we're not going to go work at those what we're going to go do is we're going to go hear the story we're going to go hear the story of what was the thing that someone saw in front of them that was a god-sized idea that they're like oh i have this piece of it i can start doing this and then it grew into something that had an impact on the world yeah, I am super excited about this for our church because I think this will be a neat opportunity to remember who we are for much, much longer than either of us have been at this church. Service and outreach and participating in what God is doing has been a part of the DNA of who we are as Woodmont. Um, and I'm excited for this for our students because I'm hoping, my hope is that students will start to see themselves as participants, not only in the whole church and what the life of the church is doing, but more importantly, as participants in the kingdom of God. So, Trail Guides, I hope this sounds exciting to you guys, uh, but I'd imagine you have a couple questions um, and maybe even some, some nerves as well. Um, we are entrusting you guys and your group with, uh, with some resources, with some money um, to help make a difference in the world, and we're encouraging you and asking you to um, help our students process through how they are going to use that money to bless our world. So, here's our specific ask of you for the next six weeks. Um, number one, um, we're going to ask you to continue to facilitate your groups, continue to be trail guides in your group, continue to be leaders with your grade that you are with. Um, we're still going to give you curriculum in the Thursday morning newsletter. Um, any activity that we do, any handout that we have, we're still going to give you on Sunday morning. Um, our second ask of you um, is that you listen to your students. 
Now maybe pay extra attention to listening to students for the next six weeks. As students start to talk through and process where they see needs in our world, uh, maybe the best role that you can fill is to be someone who listens to them and listens to your whole group and maybe can pull out some themes that you're hearing from different students. I um, mean, our third ask of you is to invite students to imagine. Invite students to be creative. Um, as students are talking about needs in our world, um, for our, our ask of you is for you to be the person who invites them to think about how they can make a difference in the world. Um, they're gonna have some money. How can they use that money to better serve the kingdom of God? How can they use the money to, to fill some holes that they see or some needs that they see in our community? Our ask of you is to continue to facilitate, um, to listen to students, and then to invite them to imagine and be creative. From a logistics standpoint, uh, what we're going to ask of you guys is for your group to decide what you're going to do with that money uh, by week five. I'm not going to say the date on the calendar right now because I will get it wrong. You'll know. We'll tell you. But week five of this experience is when we want you to have um, your idea. Then communicate that with us. Uh, we've got a little bit of money set aside for like if your group's going to need transportation to get to the thing that you're going to do or if you need some help getting logistics set up or coordinating or things like that we want to help you with that so if you can let us know um, on week five what your group plans to do with that money then chase me tatum we're all here and we want to help you with the logistics uh, i'm sure that there are questions that we did not answer in this. We're just trying to give you guys an overview. Reach out, talk to us, send an email, send a text. Happy to answer any of those questions. And the answer to some of them may be, we'll find out whenever the kids start getting creative and we're gonna solve it together. One more thing, um, trail guides for you, um, your experience leading these groups on Sunday morning um, is, is gonna be different than if you were to come on Sunday nights and participate in a group. If you're on the fence about you have heard this idea in Whole Church and you're thinking about coming and participating on Sunday night, please don't let this scare you off from coming and, do it, uh, coming and doing it. I think that your experience being a participant on Sunday nights versus being a trail guide on Sunday mornings will be different enough that it's worthwhile for you to still come participate. Uh, but we're so excited for this. I think that this really could be one of those um, series is that students leave yeah is that a word that we're working with it it's a series that students will um, leave our time in student ministry and go hey do you remember when we did that uh, do you remember the difference that that made not only maybe in our world but in in our group um, so thank you for coming um, and helping us facilitate this with our students um, and i'm so excited to see how they join in the work that god's already doing in our city we're kicking it off this sunday and we're looking forward to seeing you